Hi, Robin. I'm glad we could get together today. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining me in my stamping room today. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I am with Sue Sheets, stamping with Sushi, <laughs> and we got the opportunity to stamp today. And so we are going to make a trifold fun fold card for you. How exciting. Yes. 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 All right. So with new stuff, with new stuff. Absolutely. So here's what it looks like. It's a little, yeah, there we go, a little fun card to display when it sits. It just makes that nice little, you can see all those papers. This is a great way to show off a pack of designer series paper. So this card was just demonstrated by one of um, the Stampin' Up uh, team leaders that works for Stampin' Up. Is that what you would call her? Yeah, demonstrator... Yes. Shannon West. <laughs> we love her. We she's do. worked for Stampin' Up! for a long time. And we've met her. So she's kind of like a celebrity. And um, I mean, she follows us. So we are we might be celebrities, too. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. <laughs> she's just really nice. But um, she is an amazing crafter and stamper. And she's also all the things that she does for Stampin' Up! She does really, really well. She's a great uh, trainer and a great leader. So she just started a new Facebook group called Stampin' Shenanigans. I think this will be backwards. No. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I think I spelled it wrong. Shenanigans. I don't think I've ever written that word. <laughs> so um, I wanted to play with Sue and make Shannon's card today to show her how much we love her and then give you also an idea for what something that you can do. So let me flip the camera down to the table. So here are the um, measurements and directions. I'm gonna just set that over there for right now. And Sue and I are going to use the Zany Zoo suite of products. So we have designer series paper called Zoo Crew. And it's really fun. At first so glance, I, I thought, eh, I don't know if I really I know. need that, right? But then I saw the black and white paper and I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a go. So these are the colors that coordinate with this paper. It's really fun, fun, um, you know, colors that they put together, color combinations. And then as part of the suite, you get a bundle of ribbon that has some petal pink and some lemon lime twist um, ribbon. I think I'm going to order that today because today's the first day we can yes. order out of the new yes. catalog. Today I'm is so May 2nd, uh, 2023. And yes, the new catalog, let's just show it here, has gone live today. And you can get stuff out Lots of this of catalog. Things. So I don't know what page this is on. I don't either. Yep, here it is. Okay, here is the suite, the Zoo Crew. Um, this is actually, if you have this catalog, this is the wrong price. It's actually $76.50. Oh, it got it misprinted. So the suite comes with the stamp set, the dies, the paper, and this ribbon. So you get those four things. And so we are going to make this trifold fun fold card. Why don't you show them the paper, Sue? Show them the different. Well, this is something that Robin figured out, but the, these um, creatures on this one are party people. This is an outdoors theme, so every little creature on this page is doing something you would do outdoors, camping and that sort of thing. These guys are doing hobbies, like cooking and reading and yoga and knitting. And these guys are doing something related to music. Oh, look at this little turtle. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the, and the warthog or whatever he is. Oh, they're so cute. And this was one when I went through it first. I was like, well, I don't have kids. I'm not going to use this. Mm -hmm. And here we have the dancers, especially the dancing hippo. 
Now I've looked at this paper several times and this is the first time I saw the deer or the moose or whatever this is dancing. Oh my gosh. I kind of zoned, zoned in on the hippo and the cheetah and I never saw him until right this minute. And this so is cute. a meerkat I guess they're or not, something. I guess they're girls. They got tutus. Yeah. yeah. A meerkat. <laughs> and then these guys are riding on all, oh, a, a unicycle and skates and... <laughs> Um, a basket of flowers. I mean, they're, it's just adorable. It kind of makes me wish that the designer of this paper would do some more. Exactly. I want to see what You've else she can come up great, with. A great eye. All right, so here's the first thing you do to create this trifold card. It's a two-in-one, so it's perfect for Sue and I to be making this together. I've lost the pencil. Let's grab another one. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you mark three inches, so you, you keep your paper uh, vertical, all right, and across the eight and a half inch side, that's going to be the top and the bottom, are these eight and a half inch edges. You're going to make a mark three inches from the top right, and then three inches from the bottom left. Okay, so I think I can reach this one soon. I'll do this one up here. Like that. Okay, easy. Easy peasy. So once you have your three inch lines, little marks there, you're going to cut it in half diagonally. So let's line up. So here's the one three inch. Not in half, right? By by your marks. Yes. Yes. But it is actually in half because it's. Oh, that's true. Symmetrical. It's symmetrical. Yes, it's symmetrical. So You're right. There's that mark, and there's that mark. You mark line them up right on the um, cutting the cutting ridge. thing. Okay. There we go. All right, so you've got two pieces now, so C symmetrical. Yes. And, but they're exactly the same. So we're going to score them now to make that trifold. Let me turn this this way. So to score, <clears throat> you're going to start from the largest um, angle, the what would you call this side? The tallest side of sure. the. Of the Yes, you know, not the long part. On the short side, it's the tallest one. And you're going to score first at... <clears throat> Actually, we need to do this up here. So I'm going to flip mine around. Um, so the line that you want to use to line up is the is the one that's straight, not the, not the angled one. Okay? So I'm going to flip mine over <clears throat> so that I can use the arm. Because our score marks are at four and a fourth and eight inches. Okay, so four and a fourth, it's easy to remember because that's the width of a normal size card. So this is gonna fit in a regular size envelope. And then the next one is at eight inches. And that's it, so easy. Okay, your turn, Sue. Other, other side, there you go. So you, you. It, yeah, if you did it on the angle, then your uh, it would be, would be yes yes four and a half. And so, no 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 four and a half fourth. You were right. No, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> no, but thank you. Yeah, four and a four fourth and a fourth and, and eight. eight. Correct. Beautiful job. Okay, thank so you. we're done with that. All right, so now we're going to zigzag. So this is gonna be the inside here. So you're gonna fold that one in. Oh, there we go. And then you'll fold that one back. There we go. I think I just got goo on mine. Okay, we did it. So now your job is to cover the panels. And so we picked out, because of the black and white and the fun um, designs in this Zoo Crew paper, we thought it'd be fun if we picked one of the animal critter guys scenes and then one that has the darker um, 
black and white, but more black. And then one is black and white, more white. How's that sound? So basically the three sizes you need, we're gonna call them large, medium, and small. Large is for the inside back of the card. The medium is for this one and the small is for the front. Okay, so the large size is five and a fourth by four, like that. The medium is four and a fourth by three and a half. And so they're gonna just like nest in there and give you that nice border. And then the front one measures three and a half by two and three fourths. Okay, so once you have those decided, we're gonna put them on one by one and it's really easy how this works. This was Shannon's tip and I think it's amazing. So let's start with the inside. So instead of trying to measure this angle and cut, um, Shannon suggested, and I think it's brilliant. So this is gonna um, mount and leave this nice eighth inch border all the way along. So get it lined up as it would be um, exactly the same, and then just move it up another eighth of an inch. So then you've got a quarter of an inch down here at the bottom, and just kind of hold that while you flip it over, and then you could cut right along that angle. That's smart. It is. I would have tried to measure yeah. and... And then when you slide it back down an eighth of an inch, then you've got that nice border all the way around. Shannon has a lot of really good hints She's a and good tips. crafter. She is a good crafter. Okay, so I'm going to use liquid glue to put mine on because that's my favorite. And what did we do with it? yours. I don't know. You you gave uh, you gave it to me, but then you put new tape in it. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'll use the tape runner. So I'm gonna do my my theme's got um, the hobbies, the hobby animals. And what are, which one are you doing? I'm doing the one that's the outdoors. Okay. And specifically, um, this little skunk, my sister Barb, is a bird watcher. And look at how cute the skunk is. He has a little bird on his head and he's holding um, binoculars. <laughs> and then also this one, yep. um, the butterflies in the net. And he's a little gopher or something like that. So cute. Well, mine's not perfect, but it's, my mother always said it's imperfections add to its charm. So it's very charming. It is charming. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, he's taking so he up. Perfect. Show. Yay. That's what we wanted. All right. So now we're going to uh, fold it over and do this second half. We're going to do this or this middle section. Um, we're going to come back and do this one last, and we're just going to put a white panel there, and it's the same size as the medium right here if you're stamping along. I wonder if we should cut that when we cut this one. We could. Maybe. No, maybe not. I don't not. know. Maybe not. Never all mind. All right, so remember, just line it up so you've got that eighth-inch border all the way around, and then just move it up another eighth-inch. Hold it. And trim along. So, Sue, you've been a demonstrator for 20 years this month. That's amazing. Yes. Did I you ever think when you signed up that you'd still be doing this? I don't even think I thought about it. I just, my sister was having so much fun. My youngest sister joined up first and I was like, wanted to be a part of the fun. Yeah. And it has been fun every single year. There's Absolutely. never been a year when I said to myself, why on earth did I do this? See, I was thinking that we could take this. Oh, well you're smart because I just glued mine down. Okay, let's, you do it that way. 
and I'll do it the hard way. Okay. And remeasure mine. There we go. So you signed up for the fun, mostly, right? Yes. Yes. For the fun. Yep. And, and so I've got more than fun. <laughs> I've got friends I never, ever would have met. I've got um, like crafting skills that I've learned that I never would have known how to do. Um, what else? Well, you got to, you earned a trip. Oh, I at did. One point. I, yes. earned a, I earned a trip, earned some rewards for your longevity. Right. In here, nobody can see what you're doing. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. I know it's hard to see if you're not standing up. <laughs> How'd that work? It works. It worked better the second time than it did Good. the first. <laughs> Yeah, I signed up because I wanted the dis. I wanted two things. I wanted all the stamps that I could possibly buy um, without it being a line item in our monthly budget. And so I wanted to just like be able to freely buy stuff without feeling guilty about it, I guess. To earn my own stamps. That's what I wanted to do. Well, well I and think, I think, oh, go ahead. Well, one of the things, too, that has been so much fun, because I was a teacher before I retired, and, I mean, teachers have a lot of fun together, but when I went for my to my first stamping event, I just, like, couldn't believe the amount of fun. It, it's, like, almost indescribable, don't you yeah. think? Oh, I've got pictures of you dancing. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like a party. It's just like a party with um, everybody. With your friends. Who loves to stamp as much as you do. Yes. Definitely. And through um, through my love of what I'm doing, um, I've, I have found that I've, um, my sisters, I have four sisters, and um, a couple of my sisters who never would have done anything like this are now um, enjoying creating their Absolutely. own cards. Yep. One of them makes makes uh, and designs cards for a nursing home in New Hampshire. Wow. Yeah. So it's just. Um, yeah. I think that's the that's the the one of the best things that I uh, love being exposed to is that you think you can point out the people in the crowd who are gonna like making cards and sometimes you can right people who are crafty generally like crafty things um but i am always always surprised by people who you know just discover it to be the most amazing thing and you wouldn't have ne necessarily picked them um and it becomes a great creative outlet for them yes well they'll say things to you like well i'm not creative right and then when they get done they're like oh Oh my gosh, look at the card I, I made. I know, I know. It's really neat. Okay, so we have all our papers on. We have the white piece in the middle. I think they look really cute. Oh, and your little cooking yep. guy shows. Yep. And my little uh, skunk shows. Yeah. So now we're just going to make a focal point on the front. And we decided to use a large circle punch and kind of bring out some of the other colors in the paper. So I picked petal pink. And look at your little ears show Aww. with your pink and my bird. There you go. See? Cool. It's like we knew what we were doing. And yours is <laughs> pool party. And then we used the designer series paper and we the dies that come with this bundle. Um, they cut out the animals in the stamp set, but they also each cut out one animal in each piece of paper. So in the crafty um, hobby paper, you can cut out the llama with the die. On this nature one, you can cut out the skunk. I mean, you can fussy cut them all out, but right. the dies will cut out one of them. And then we also took these little flowers and we cut them out in a, um, in a bunch of little colors to use as accents. So let's, before we glue, let's actually stamp our greeting. We need to stamp our yeah. greeting. And I have to decide. Yeah, we have to figure out where we want. Is my skunk going to go over here and work up greeting? here? 
There we go. Yeah. Is my skunk going to go over here and maybe overlap a little so I've got room for my greeting there? Yeah. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to put mine like this. Oh, that. Do you need scratch paper? Yes. Here. Oh, look at that. Shannon West, you're too you're wonderful. You're too wonderful. Oh, <laughs> Shannon. Oh, sorry. You're too wonderful, Shannon. <laughs> okay. Oh, little smudge. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Nailed that. Let's close that up. There's the lid. All right, so I'm gonna put the, the llama on first before and, I place the circle. Yeah, and I'm not gonna uppy my my uh, skunk, but I'm thinking of upping my the circle. Circle. Yeah, I think that's what a good think? idea, especially when mine's hanging off a little bit. I like doing that. Oh, cute. I think I'm gonna put ribbon behind mine too. I don't know. I have to think about it. These are the ribbons that come with the suite. It's got pink and green, which I like both of those. I'm gonna pick the green. I'm gonna do one. Since this is a, like a Z, I'm gonna make one of those Z things on the front. Ah, I like that. I did that on a card I made recently. I think I'll do the green also. I'm already thinking with this little card design how fun it would be to just put like a little little scallop oh. or that fringe from oh, the, the new fringe birthday from thing, the birthday just thing. kind of sticking out there. That would be really cute. Wasn't it um, in the movie Bambi that um, that the thumper called the skunk flower? Mm-hmm. And we got little mm -hmm. flowers with mm -hmm. the skunk. Yep. Whoops. Cute. Hold it in the camera. Oh, super cute. Yeah. All right. Let's Just that the... little touch of green. What do you think? Glue dots for these? Since they have a hole in them. I think glue dots because we were going to put, um, we're going to put an embellishment, embellishment on, on top so we won't see the glue dot. Right in there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Here's the 
And these yellow ones might just, yeah, I think that will work. I think they're really cute. This is a fun, this is a neat little fun Yes, fold. it is very fun. I like the proportion of it too. Mm-hmm. Very cute. Nice. Very sweet. I do think, I think this other greeting from the stamp set, something great to celebrate you. Because if you're saying you're too wonderful, oh, you're, really, you're celebrating can, them, right? We can, yes. we can add that. And then it could be a birthday card or it could just be a thinking of you and or somebody that, you know, did something thoughtful for you, yep. to you. think about the trifold fun fold it's pretty cute right you know what you can save these little um diagonal or tri yes. triangular ones and make little starbursts yes right yes you can do all kinds of fun things with mm -hmm. so don't throw those away definitely save those and create a little starburst design That one's white. That one's white. Anyway, we're going to save those. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's switch back here. What do you guys think? I hope you liked this cute little idea. Yes. It's fun. Fun and easy. Two for one. And so thanks, good. Shannon, yep. for the idea. Yes. Oh, my God. Definitely go find Shannon West at Stampin' Shenanigans and see what else she's got going on on her Facebook group. And I believe she has a YouTube channel too, um, under Shannon West. She's amazing. She so is. We're so grateful to have her. And thank you, Sue, so much for stamping yeah. with me today. And thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. Let's do it again. Yes, I think so. All right. A regular thing <laughs> would be fine with me. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. Happy stamping. <laughs>